we're back. Hello, I am shooting on my iPhone because, and I just woke up. I don't sleep, so this is, Whoa. I came home from work and I knocked out hard. Like I was gone for like four hours. And next weekend we have my cousin's housewarming party and I am so excited. She lives in Virginia and she had requested me to make her something, which I am very excited to make her. I will put a little picture of what I'm going to recreate right here. This is what she sent me. She's like, this would be nice. So I'm going to do just like that. I rather had put her name in those areas where it says like his, hers, and the little puppy. Their little Jacob. But she doesn't want that. So I'm going to just copy what she sent me. I had went to Walmart in Georgia when I was in Georgia like two, three weeks ago. And in Wally, they have these things. It's real wood. Like you could smell. Oh, you could smell the wood. Right, Mom? These are barnwood pallet planks. And I'm going to not, we're not going to hang them like this. But um, I got three of them. And then maybe I'm going to cut them a little smaller. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I was going to make the wood and like cut the wood and stain the wood and all that fun stuff. But it honestly was easier for me to just um, buy it. <laughs> it was cheaper. I think they were like $2 each. Um, and then I bought the hooks. This is a very quick project. I thought it was really cute. Cute housewarming little project. And then these little hooks. They're a three pack, which was perfect for, I think, $5. Not sure. If I get the prices, I'll let you know. Put them somewhere on the screen. And my mom, because, uh, of course, my mom does everything with me. My house is very, very crusty right now. Zach, I really wish I brought my camera. I'm sorry. I'm shaking a lot. We're going to get started. <laughs> and, um... Say hi, mom, because she's in every video. Hi, mom. <laughs> she's in every video. But, um, yeah, we're going to have fun. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I positioned, sorry about all my crap, but I just positioned how I want my boards to go. Now I'm going to lay these down just so I can get an idea of the space. These are five and a half boards. So this is a total of 16 and a half inches wide. Not sure how tall. I think it was like. 12 and then whatever this is right here. I think I'm gonna write here his Her and then the dog print right here So I just have to trace that out and then I'm gonna get to painting, but it looks really cute This is so cool. All right, so cool thing. My mom is taping me what she did. Okay, so Doing it in pencil on wood is pretty hard. So she decided to sharpen chalk pieces of chalk so I'm doing that and it's wet it's showing up wet right now but I have to redo the S over here but for the dog print I was just gonna freehand it and then I realized why don't I just print it out because it'd be easier so what my mom did is to use it as a trace she put chalk on the back <laughs> well, back up like here is fine so what she did is she put chalk on the back of this paper so that when I trace over it, the chalk will show darker right here. So, I am now going to do the whole paw print. And it will be easier so that when I paint it, it will be perfect. You ready, Mom, for the reveal? Oh, perfect! It's perfect! So now I just take one of these chalks. And then go over it. Oh. And then it's gonna go like that, and then like that, and then wah bam. All right, cool. So I just finished one coat on his, and I just painted right over the chalk. So you see how cool that is? I mean, it's very dusty underneath, but once when it dries, I do my second coat then I can wash off all of the um, the chalk. But yeah, just paint right over the chalk. That's what my mom taught me. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that one dry, work on the other two boards. And then you'll see after I do the second coat. Yeah. Okay, so before my phone dies, you can tell I planned this out amazing and perfectly. I just did the second coat and they look so good like look how great that looks now my mom she just got us the wood glue we're going to put glue in the creases 
whoop, and then like hold them together. And then you have to just make sure that it doesn't get any clumps right there. Forgot to mention that to speed up the process of drying the paint, just use a blow dryer, so. So I marked it here and here so I know exactly where it's even. Ma, your finger is oh no. My finger's not. It's look at it. No, look at your finger. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> oh. So you want to wipe any of the glue. Mm -hmm. and make sure that it's off. Oh wow, it's so perfect. <laughs> Okay, so we just put these on. Um, make sure that when you're doing it, you use a ruler and you're centering it for each of the boards, making sure that they're in the center and the, um, the space from the bottom is all the same. We use, mom, how thin was this again? An eighth of an inch? Three eighths. Three eighths of an inch for the screws because our boards are so thin. Um, this is what literally what the size of them look like. It's so tiny um, But so perfect and because then they don't go through the back Yeah, you don't want them to go through the back. We use the glue um, for The boards, but I may put a little uh, Board just across it just to make sure that it's secure um, it is perfect. And then we had put one of these little hooks on the back which my mom we may switch it out too, but this works. And right now I'm just gonna use some of this oil. It's a cutting board oil for wood, mineral oil, just to make it shiny and it'll remove any chalk that I had left on it. And I'm gonna apply that right now. With the before, right there, before, after. So I'm gonna do the whole thing. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This was so fun. And hopefully she will love it even more. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello, Ms. Roos Roos, Kelly Rooster.